Let's consider a guy dropping a shrunken monkey head from rest. And let's figure out how far that shrunken monkey head has gone. Let's say that this is uh, the edge of a cliff. And there's the cliff. And the guy's standing up here. He, he got a 12 pack of monkey heads, so they're a little bit you know, you can afford to be a little bit silly with them when you've got that many. And, um, here he goes. He's going to drop the monkey head. So what I'd like to do is figure out how far the monkey head has gone. And we know that the velocity, uh, let's see, we know that delta y from the previous video is the initial velocity in the y direction times time plus one half the acceleration in the y direction times time squared. So I'm going to use this equation, but remember he's just dropping this shrunken monkey head. Let's say he, he bends down and he drops it from right here to make it easy for us. He's dropping this shrunken monkey head and he's dropping it from rest. So we can just do uh, negative one half times 9.81 and then multiply that by the time that it has fallen squared. So after one second, the shrunken monkey head will be at 4.9 meters below where he started. So let's say that one centimeter is equal to 10 meters. And so we go down just a little bit, 4.9, we're gonna be right there after one second. One second, right there. And I'm setting it up like this, obviously, because it's going to go quite a bit faster as it continues to fall. So let's look after two seconds. It's going to be down here at almost 20 meters down. There's the shrunken monkey head at two seconds. So let's see where it is after three seconds. Three seconds it's going to be 44 meters below the edge of the cliff, which is about right here. We've got our small, small monkey head at three seconds. At four seconds it will have gone to 78 meters below the cliff. 78 meters below the cliff, like right here or so. It starts going fast enough, I guess it will catch fire, but that's not gonna happen in the first few seconds. This is a really tall cliff though, because we are 78 meters below it. Let's see about um, five seconds after the fall. Holy cow, the shrunken monkey head is now at 122 meters below the edge of the cliff. And I wonder if we'll be able to do one more second. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. At six seconds, the shrunken monkey head is 176 meters below the cliff. This is now an unrealistically tall cliff. 176 meters right there. And it is also unrealistic to suppose that the shrunken monkey head is still feeling no air resistance. So we've got this interesting motion of the shrunken monkey head. You notice this distance is increasing every second, and that makes sense because the monkey head's velocity is increasing each second. So that's one possible solution to do, one possible thing you could do with your shrunken monkey head. Another thing that he could do is he could put it on a little roller track and he could slide it. Let's say that there's a frictionless track right here and he can put it on the track and he can give that monkey head a kick. He's actually a karate master, you didn't know that, but he sets it on a little cart. Here's a, a little cart and the monkey head sits on top of it and he can kick that monkey head and the monkey head would then go. Let's say he kicks it at, um, let's say it's at a velocity of 20 meters per second. Velocity initial in the x direction is 20 meters per second. Then after the first second, he will have gone 20 meters. So we'll put it right here. 
and after the second second it's going to be right here another 20 meters beyond after let's see we're gonna have one here at 60 meters away and one here at 80 meters away let's see should i write these down this guy is initially and this really should be right here where we started oh my goodness what a mess shrunken monkey head over here that's zero seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds. Let's continue. We've got four seconds, and we need to go all the way to six seconds with this flying shrunken monkey head on a cart. And then six seconds would take it 120 meters because it's moving 20 meters per second. Okay. So this is another possible motion of the monkey head. <clears throat> but consider what would happen if instead of putting it on the track and kicking it, and instead of just letting go with it, he actually kicked it horizontally and allowed it to move with the acceleration of gravity. The shrunken monkey head would then be a combination of the steady motion in the x direction and the accelerating motion in the y direction. I think this warrants purple. The shrunken monkey head in that case would be here at one second. Uh huh. And then at two seconds, the shrunken monkey head would find itself right here. And at four seconds, sorry, three seconds, the shrunken monkey head would find itself right here. Four seconds out, the shrunken monkey head is now going to be here. And five seconds, the shrunken monkey head will be here. And at six seconds, the shrunken monkey head will be all the way down here. Interesting. What is the shape? What is the shape? Check it. You don't know what it is. Look that sucker up. That's a beautiful shape. It's interesting because this graph, that's zero. This graph is quadratically dependent on time. So there's this really beautiful pattern of something opening downward. 